Hello. I was wondering, could I ask you? Uh, are, are, are you are you a, you're, are you a man? You're a transgender person. That's what I thought. Um, okay, just one second. Sarah. Yes, he is here. So you are trans. Okay, but do you know what God says about that? I'll come from behind. Um, the bus, the See, I thought you was... I wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt. I thought you was a girl. So, I thought you was a woman. So, you believe Jesus is God. Yes. But you still do the things that he says not to. Where does he say? So, basically, you know, it's... The story I, of Saddam Lamar. So, but for a man to dress in a woman's clothes and pose as a woman, there's two genders, man and female. And so God made you a man, and then you go and get to what God says by dressing up in women's clothes. Do you know what Jews says about God? Being a man or a woman? So God is, God is, God does no gender, God is a he. God, I mean, God has revealed himself to us. God is spirit, God is a he. Um, and he's revealed himself to us as a he, but he is obviously gendered at, at the same time. But that doesn't give you the right to dress like if you if you say you're a believer in Jesus then why do you live according to the ways of the world and not according to Jesus you're saying that God made a mistake when he created you that he made you a man but you're saying no he I, I, I'm a woman so you're saying God made a mistake so but you're Jewish yeah okay and in Jewish law God forbids this and God doesn't change he hates it God hates it so God no. doesn't stop the police if you touch our property again. Oh, I should carry on. No way. Right, so God hates it. Huh? Can you blame me on the phone? I don't know how to do that, I'm afraid. But all right, so God hates it. It's in Jewish law. God hates it if a man dresses in women's clothing. He came to hit you. Yeah, he came to touch our camera. We don't know that. So what I'm saying is, are you gay? Are you gay? You're trans. Okay. Well, you know, there's lots of testimonies in the Bible of people like yourself that came to faith in Jesus, and Jesus saved them. And when He saved them, He changed them. God created you to be man, and you should embrace that. It doesn't say that. God created male and female, and you were born a man. God didn't make a mistake when He made you, but He didn't make a mistake when He made you. But you came over to me and you said Mohammed dressed in Aisha's clothes and now you're dressing in women's clothes. What's the difference between you and Mohammed? That he dresses a child's clothes. Yeah, but you're dressing in women's clothes as well. But you're a man. Yeah. So, you know, that's sinful behavior. Where does it say it's that? deceptive. You're not a man. You're a, you're not a. You're, I thought you was a woman. I felt sorry Muhammad, for you. Muhammad was a prophet, supposed to be a prophet, correct? Yeah, but you are. You claim to believe Wait, in Jesus. He's supposed to be a perfect example, correct? No, Muhammad is a pedophile and a false yeah, prophet. Yeah, he is. But right, but Jesus is God. For them. Okay, but transgenderism. That's not biblical, okay? God gives us over. You need to read Romans 2. God gives us over to a different, like, he gives over, you know, the people come and they do, they, you know, you've got man uh, going with man and women going with women. And then in the end, you know, and men dressing up as women and vice versa. And God gives them over to a debased mind. That's what's happened to you. God has given you over to a debased mind, but he's calling you to repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. God will give you a new heart, a heart to embrace your... Um, um, masculinity who God made you to be he made you to be a man okay and you there's there's nothing wrong with that I don't know what has happened to you in your life I don't know what led you to this place but I can guarantee you that if you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin if you believe in him and I mean really believe in him you have to stop you like when you if you say you believe in him and he saves you then you have to let go of this you cannot hold on to your sin and Jesus at the same time if you know something is wrong you have to stop doing it God's spirit will change you and enable you to do that after he saves you through faith put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and when he does that he'll give you a new heart and he'll put his spirit in you and he'll bring you into relationship 
and this stuff is not this stuff is of the world when you stand before your creator you're going to stand before him as a man he's going to judge you as a man and he's going to condemn you for this yeah again you haven't told me where does it say anything about trans woman it tells us in the old testament about about man what dressing up in women's clothes Where, what does it say it tells you in the law you have to look at the law but god says it's an abomination and it tells us in romans 2 that he that it's still the same for today a femininity uh, it's not biblical men dressing up as women women dressing up as men god forbids it, Where does it say? i told you it's in the law it's in the law okay god What's forbids it um okay i need my bible from, from what i know it's Hold all on. about the story of saddam and gomorrah so why did he do that what's the story of saddam and why did he destroy saddam and gomorrah because people were sinners no because of people like yourself saddam because they were gay they were effeminate no. effeminate is in the book of corinthians no because those two witnesses that came they were threatened to be raped and at that time when they threatened to rape someone and then to right. okay i just want to take you to a place right first of all i want to show you something effeminate with reference to a man having characteristics of ways of behaving traditionally as associated with a woman and regarded as inappropriate for men that's what it means to be effeminate okay now let me show you in the bible where god speaks against this all right okay can we move over here a little bit you can have your back to the camera if you want um, all right. this is uh know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of god be not deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers nor the effeminate so a man dressing up in women's clothing and put taking on women's attributes and god says that you won't inherit the kingdom of god this is in 1 corinthians verse 6 9. so god forbids this it doesn't it says no no woman. i just showed you the definition in the, i showed you the definition of effeminate a man taking characteristics of a woman it would include dressing up in a woman's clothes wearing makeup and posing as a woman that's what it means and i just showed you through the bible where god forbids this this is new testament not old testament he forbids it in the old testament you said you were jewish so i pointed you to the jewish law but he also talks about it in the new testament okay so god does forbid it he says you won't inherit the kingdom of god so this behavior is going to cost you in hell when you stand before god on the day of your judgment you're going to stand before him as a man embrace your masculinity put your faith and trust in jesus christ for the forgiveness of sin he'll wash you in his blood forgive you of every sin that you have ever committed and he'll change your heart and in enable you to live godly and help you to let go of these desires so that you can live for him god will do that for you when you come to jesus this it, this you're missing something in your life and that is jesus christ and you're not going to find the fulfillment of that by doing this stuff that you're doing all you're going to do is find the wrath of god on you and you're going to end up in hell but it says feminine I do usually it describes everything but this time it doesn't describe no it. i just no i just yeah. gave you the definition do not try to yeah. work around it the yeah. definition of effeminate is so anybody that takes on characteristics of the woman i gave you the definition and then what i did was basically um i gave you the definition and then i showed you through the scriptures how it's um not going to save you okay okay feminine could mean being weird by wearing clothing and no, whatever reason no i just showed you your excuses are not going to work with god effeminate means taking on characteristics of a woman when you are a man and What? you're not going to inherit the kingdom of god because of this behavior it's going to lead you to hell and i tell you this in love i want you to be saved i want you to know jesus and i want you to be born of his spirit okay Well, what does Jewish say about God? Okay, it tells you in the Jewish law. You want to see in Israel? About God, it says that uh, he, he created... Uh, Male and female. Yeah, yeah, he made you a man. Way. He made you a man way. and Satan has deceived you. He created man and woman as uh, from him, correct? From his own image, correct? Yeah. So, what does that mean? 
What does that mean? Huh? What does that mean? What God created you in his image? Yeah. He made them to be male and female. In his image he made them male and, and female. What image is God? He, 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 God is God. He's spirit. He's both, male and female. God is, yeah, but that doesn't give you the right to dress up in women's clothing. God is revealed to us as a he. Father, son, and obviously we have the Holy Spirit as well. But God revealing himself to us as spirit, whether it be a he or a she, it doesn't make any difference. The point is, it doesn't give you the right to dress up in women's clothing. You're going to, it's going to lead you to hell. Okay? You're a man. Embrace your masculinity. How do you know be I'm a man? Maybe I was born as a woman. No, you're not. You got the no. no, because you're dressed as a woman. You got the, you got the stubble. You, you got the lipstick on. Yeah. Okay. So, you just admitted to being a transgender. Yeah, I didn't say trans woman or trans woman. All right, I just showed you effeminate, what it means, with reference to having to a man, having characteristics and ways of behaving traditionally is associated with women. And God says that the effeminate, those that do that, will not inherit the kingdom of God. So you're sinning against God through your behavior. I don't see that. Well, that's what God says. It doesn't matter what you say. Because the story comes sin. from Saddam and Gamal. No, it and doesn't. Can God, you describe me what exactly happened to Saddam and Gamal? I'll show you in the law of Moses where God speaks against it. What happened with the story of Saddam and Gamal? God judged them and he rained down fire and fire. That should make you afraid of God. You why, should fear God because Why of that. did he judge them? Why did he see them as sinners? Huh? Why did he see them as Because sinners? they were gay, they would be effeminate, because they were they were they were they were, they were really bad. Sodom, that's what it means. The word Sodom is another word terminology for men sleeping with men. And so this is it is. And so this is what God says. Right, okay. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. This is the law of Moses. You're Jewish, yeah? The woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man, neither shall a man put on woman's garment. For all who do so are an abomination unto the Lord your God. Yeah. Okay, so. It say. I just told you in yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. You need to study the scriptures. Yeah. So what you're doing is an abomination to God. And he tells you in Corinthians that the effeminate will not inherit the kingdom of God. But I can guarantee you, if you put your faith and trust in Jesus, there's hope for you. All right? I'm not here to condemn. I'm giving you hope. I'm telling you the way of salvation. When you put your trust in Jesus Christ, when you believe that he is Lord, when you put your faith in him for the forgiveness of sin, he will save you. And then he will give you a new heart with a new spirit, with the Holy Spirit. And he will change you. You won't want Want to dress in women's clothes you will want to please your messiah you will want to please your lord and savior living for god is far better than living for yourself to satisfy the desires of the flesh it's not worth an eternity in hell all right what muhammad did was evil and what you're doing is just as wrong as well that's what you think uh, that's what the bible says but so you then you don't be believe in, in jesus to understand that I'm a woman. you're not a woman you're a man and you know you're a man and you're dressing up as a woman and if you need to repent or you're going to go to hell so you're saying that god never created a miss uh, no he doesn't make mistakes Sorry. he I doesn't never, make mistakes he's a god said mistake, but you, he created but you a man created and you say he made a mistake because now you're just no i as never a woman. said mistakes you yes said, you are no so you're saying that god created everyone perfect exactly how he wants it uh, we're born into sin. It's your sinful nature that makes Wait. you the way that you are. And God so then, created everyone hold on. perfect exactly how you wanted them. He made us male and female. Yes, he did. In the genders that we are. And yes. Disability, disabled, and no, crippled, no, it, and he, no, no. He we live in a fall, no, no, no. We live in a fallen world. But it doesn't matter. We so that means that we suffer in this world. We suffer with sicknesses and we suffer with diseases. But that doesn't mean to say that. No, hold, hold on. Oh, born with a, no, no. It doesn't mean to say you're not born like born this. With no, heads, no, no. Born with, hold um, on. When he created Adam and Eve, he made male and female. 
Sin entered into the world through Adam and Eve, through their sin, through their disobedience to God. And it spread to all men, all right? Sin came to all men. We're all born in sin. We're all sinful because of, uh, we all have a sinful nature. So Jesus said that you have to be born again. Just because we're born with a sinful nature does not mean to say that we have the right to continue on in our sin, living however we want. And then we can say to God, well, why did you make me like this? No, he's going to hold you responsible for your sin. You're going to have to answer to him. But he's made the way out for you so that you can have salvation when you turn to Jesus Christ when you put your faith and trust in him when you believe in Jesus for the forgiveness of sin he'll give you a new heart he'll put his spirit in you and he'll bring you into a relationship and that will be the best relationship of your whole life okay this is temporary it's not worth it all right I can't say any more than I have my sincere prayer is that you will repent and put your trust in Jesus for the forgiveness you know what of sin. A sin to us a sin is whatever God says it is the Ten Commandments no a sin is whatever God says it is and he says the effeminate will not inherit the kingdom of God you can deceive yourself now and think that you're doing nothing wrong I'm because not the way you are no. you are in the sight of God you are the way of the world might tell you what the you're doing is okay but the God himself it says it's an abomination the it's an abomination to God and you are being called to repentance and faith in Jesus Christ you will perish in your sin if you do not repent and believe in Jesus I believe only in the Ten Commandments That's then you're the breaking the law you're, the, the, if you, you claim to be Jewish but yet there's 613 laws I just read one of them to you uh, in Deuteronomy 16, 22 uh, verse 5 Due to 613 laws. Alochus. All right, you can't. Alochus. You How can't. They create Alochus? You can't keep them. Where does and Alochus? you just proved it. You can't Jewish, keep them. Where does Alochus come from? You can't keep the 1613 laws. Yeah, you're in violation of uh, Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Where does it come from? So you're in. The, it comes from the um, God revealed it, gave it to Moses. But no one can keep the law. Yes, it does. You're trying to deceive yourself. No, a bunch of rabbis, they try to no. translate the Ten Commandments. No, you can't translate Ten Commandments into Trying to say why you shall not no, kill, why you shall matter. not... No, it doesn't matter. I just gave you, God's, we're under the New Covenant now. God has brought in a New Covenant, and under the New Covenant, He repeats Himself in um, 1 Corinthians verse 6, 9. And He says that the effeminate will not inherit the Kingdom of God. Okay? So, trust me, what you're doing is an abomination, and you need to repent for it. All right? Trust me, I'm very... Uh, no, I pray that you come to faith in Jesus um, Christ. God bless you. Um,